Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you guys. Hey there, Heartbeat Juanita. Heartbeat Aliyah. Good morning, good morning. Happy Friday to you too. It's a wonderful day. Hey there, Harvey Troy. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today is a great day. Even though it's cloudy outside, at least where I am, I'm going to be the sunshine to light up the world this morning. Happy Friday, happy Friday to you. Good morning, good morning. Hope your morning is going well. Good morning, Heartbeat Alicia. Good morning. I'm gonna give people a couple more seconds to jump on here. Good morning, Heartbeat Latanya. Good morning, Heartbeat Pudding Pop. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Heartbeat Carolyn. Thanks for the shout out yesterday. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks so much. Happy Friday to ya. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Okay, well, a couple seconds and we're going to get started. All right, let's get started here. And so good morning, Heartbeat Nation. I am Regina Banks, your GPS to wholeness. Welcome to the Gathering of Hearts. Great job on making it to Friday. You did it. Hallelujah. And so I'm excited. We're going to close out, um, you know, the week of what we've been talking about. And I hope you guys have enjoyed this week. I hope it has been um, helpful to you with the things that we've been taking a look at. And so, you know, we started out with saying broke. I'm leaving you. We made a declaration that we want to be made whole and that brokenness, we're leaving you. And then we kind of traveled on down to taking, to take care of you. And then I had to break that up. And we talked about, um, getting, get out of uh, toxic relationships. And then it was getting out of a toxic relationship with yourself. And so I'm going to close this week out with this. Take care of you by minding your business. Take care of you by minding your business. Hey there, Heartbeat Queen O and Heartbeat Aunt Gwen. Taking care of you by minding your business. And so, you know, sometimes busyness can get us off the plan of God. It can get us out of the will of God for our lives. And sometimes getting overly involved in someone else's life can be detrimental to our own health as well as cause problems in your household. Why? Because you bringing somebody else's stuff into your household. So here's my motto. Again, this is my motto. If it doesn't affect my address, which means, you know, those that reside in this house, if it does not affect my address, it's none of my business. If it doesn't affect my financials, it's none of my business. If it doesn't require my participation, guess what? It's none of my business. And so we've got to learn how to take care of ourselves by minding your business. And so when I take on this mindset, I can keep my own affairs in line. I can stay in the will of God for my own life. And I have more time to seek God so that I can be more like him and that my life may exemplify him even more. Why? Because I'm minding my own business. So take care of you by minding your business. Think about it. We're all guilty of it. We've all done it before. We've all minded somebody else's business, but where did it get us? It got us nowhere. It got you nowhere. In fact, you lost time doing something that was none of your business and you could have been using that time to enhance your own life. You took on someone else's cares, which meant you took as Jesus is. So am I like you really took that literally? No, the Bible says this. It says cast your cares on him, him being Jesus. It does not say, it says, well, he cares for you. It does not say cast your cares on and you put your name there. 
It does not say cast your cares on Latanya, cast your cares on Juanita, cast your cares on Belinda, cast your cares on Puddin' Pop. It does not say that. It says cast your cares on Jesus for he cares for you. He cares enough to take on your burdens. Not that I don't care for you, but I'm not equipped to take on your burdens. I'm only equipped to deal with my own. And so take care of you by minding your business. So listen, I want to talk about an account. Everybody knows this account. We grew up with it. The account of Mary and Martha. And so Jesus is at the house, right? And he's there. And, you know, Mary is like, woo, Jesus is in my house. I'm going to be focusing on Jesus is here. I'm going to be in his face. I'm going to be at his feet. You know, I want to lay my head up against his chest and feel his heartbeat. Like, I'm going to be where Jesus is. This is Mary's, you know, this is where she is. But Martha's running around trying to do this and trying to do that. And then she has the nerve to say, Jesus. Do you see what Murray's doing? Why isn't she helping me? Why isn't she tending to these things? Look, she missed it. Jesus is right in the house, but she's so busy, you know, looking at other things. And then she got the nerve to try to jump into Mary's business. Now, Mary is doing the right thing because Mary realized, look, Jesus is right here. And I'm going to get what I need while Jesus is right here. Martha is so busy in Mary's business. She forgot that she probably got some things that Jesus could fix for her too. Okay. So you got to learn to mind your business. He even said, Martha, Martha. Now, Jesus done called her name twice. Why? Because he needs to get her attention. To, In other words, he said, mind your business, girl. Let her go over here and let her worship me. Let her praise me. Let her adorn me. Let her do what she's doing. Mind your business. And so that's what I'm saying. You've got to learn to take care of yourself by minding your business. Now, let's think about another story. Let me tell you another account. I shouldn't say story. Another account. Uh, Martha again. Remember when Lazarus died? And, you know, she called for Jesus, you know, like he's died. When Jesus get there, she says, if you had been here, this wouldn't have happened. Once again, Martha's out of line. She's all in Jesus' business, telling Jesus, if you had been here. Did she forget who he is? Did she forget that he is the Messiah, that he knows all, he sees all? But she going to get in his business and tell him how to be Jesus. Had you been here, my brother wouldn't have died. Get this. She messed up the relationship. She she went across boundaries because you know sometimes we can get into other people's business and we can take the relationship for granted and you know we kind of like say a little bit too much because we think we all that no you've got to respect people's boundaries but Jesus was cool as he is you know he was just like girl just chill I'll watch what I'm about to do a miracle is about to happen what am I saying to you watch your mouth stay out of other people's business Jesus had already proved that he's Jesus he had already proved that he has receipts that he is the Messiah so if Jesus made a decision. Hey, let's stick with Jesus' decision. What am I telling you? How do I apply this to my life? If somebody has already made a decision to do that, guess what? It's none of your business. Okay, I'm going to move on. How to mind your business. I'm going to give you some points on how to mind your business. One, ask, does this affect me personally? If there's no impact on your life, mind your business. Keep your opinions to yourself. Accept the fact that only your thoughts and only your actions and only your opinions are your business. When you dabble in others' thoughts, when you dabble in others' opinions, when you dabble in others' actions, you're now minding somebody else's business. Okay, so if someone asks you for advice, make sure that it's advice they want and not a battle with them. Or make sure that they're not trying to cast their care upon you. Don't offer unsolicited advice. I'm going to say that again. Don't offer unsolicited advice. Number two, learn the art of saying I don't. What are you talking about, Pastor G? You know when somebody asks you, well, what do you think? I don't. I don't think anything about it because what? It doesn't affect my household. It doesn't affect my financials. It doesn't cause me to participate in whatever they're going with. So learn the art of saying, I don't. Learn the art of saying, no, thank you. When somebody's trying to pull you into their drama, mm -hmm. No, thank you. When somebody's trying to get you to be a character in their theatrical production, mm, no, thank you. I'll pass. Learn the art of saying no. Simply saying no. Can you do? No. Can you? 
No. And be comfortable with saying no. Other thing is this. Learn the art of supporting without intervening. You can support somebody from afar. You can pray for them. You can pray for them. And you can pray for them. Learn to support somebody from afar. Respect other people's boundaries. Everyone has a right to their own privacy. Don't overstep your relationship with a person. Remember, I just got finished talking about that with Martha because her and Jesus and, you know, Lazarus and Mary, they went way back. She thought it was okay to get up in Jesus' face and say, had you been here? But no, she forgot who he was. She forgot that he is his own person. He has his own thoughts and her thoughts don't line up to his. So make sure you don't overstep step your um, relationship with the person. Accept other people's values, beliefs, and opinions. Respect other people's values, beliefs, and opinions. What's up? Hey there, Harvey Cheryl. Um, learn to agree to disagree and mind your own business. I'm going to say that again. Learn to agree to disagree and mind your business. Don't impose on someone else. Number three, stay engaged with the hand that you've been dealt. There is a call and a purpose for your life. When you stay focused on your life, you will find you don't have much time to get involved in somebody else's life. Learn to be a self-observer. Pastor G, what are you talking about? Observe your own life. What can I do to better my life where it glorifies God even more? Number two, then practice. Well, this is number two under number three. Practice self-observing. Make notes when you're not minding your business and then practice bringing your attention back to your own lane. So make a note. You know what? I This all had nothing to do with me. I am minding somebody else's business. Make a note. I'm minding somebody else's business, then quickly get back in your own lane. As you do this, it will become easier and it will become automatic. And so that's it, Heartbeat Nation. That is your daily dosage for today. Take care of you by minding your business. I hope that this week was good for you. I hope that you were able to, you know, take a look at yourself, able to learn to take better care of yourself. I hope that you are able to apply these things to your life. Know that I love you guys a bunch. Go out there and have a happy Friday. Go out there and find all of the favor that God has already prepared for you, that he's just waiting for you to walk into. If you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, you have got to do so because you can go back and you can look at all of these dosages again and you can apply them to your life. Again, I love you guys a bunch and guess what? I will see you Monday morning right here at 7.30 a.m. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. And go out and look out for falling blessings because God has them for you. That's my uh, little dog there. I guess she's telling me enough is enough. She's ready to eat. So I'll see you guys on Monday. Love you a bunch.